Let's get started with the fundamentals, and the fundamental unit of the data catalogue within the Alation Data Intelligence platform is known as the catalogue page. A catalogue page holds a wide variety of information on a company's data assets, whether that's a data object, a database query, BI content, and much more. All catalogue pages have titles, descriptions, and fields for additional information, but most pages are based on templates that can also be customised with additional fields as needed. Let's explore what catalogue pages look like for several different types of asset, starting with traditional data sources. From the home page, let's navigate to our search bar and simply click to reveal some popular data sources across our organisation. We'll select Snowflake from this list and click through to review the Data Source Catalogue Details page. And we can see a standard template that includes a description of the data source, as well as fields including stewards, domains, relevant tags, back references, and more. In this environment, we also see some additional custom fields, including Alation workflow automation bots that are checking for data quality completeness, while curation status and data quality status are set manually by nominated data stewards. Within this page, we also get to see how information is organised within the database using objects called schemas, which are shown here and are arranged by popularity, a calculated attribute within Alation that's based on regular analysis of how this data is accessed by real users against the data platform itself. Let's click on the finance schema to drill down into the details. At the schema level, we organise our data assets into tables, once again sorted by popularity. We start to see Ali AI, the in-platform artificial intelligence capability of Alation, being used to automatically retitle complex technical table names into more business-readable titles, with a green robot icon being shown when Ali AI's automated suggestion has been approved by a human data steward for this asset. Basic profiling of the tables within the schema is also provided, highlighting the number of rows and columns in each table as at the time of the last refresh. Over to the right, we see some new fields included in the catalogue page, including top users, again, derived from analysis of how the schema is actually used in the real world based on log analysis, as well as data stewards, tags, domains, and other references. Within the Schema Catalogue page, we can also explore published queries against this resource to understand what insights users have derived from this data, and what's been popular with other users. Each of these queries can be explored further, including using our self-service capabilities to run the query in an interactive form, or to develop the query further using Alation Compose. Turning back to the overview, we can explore deeper into our most popular table within this schema, the Financial Customer Table, which provides us with a wealth of information that includes a description, but also detailed classifications about the data contained within, such as the presence of Personally Identifiable Information, or PII. Columns are sortable, for example on Popularity, and we get Ali AI smart titles once more, along with data types from the underlying data source, and indications if data health rules have been configured against specific columns in this table. Catalog pages for tables can also be configured to show published queries, as shown here at the bottom of the page, as well as whether this table plays a part in any published data products for the organisation. In addition to showing the columns in the table itself, sample data can also be provided to give analysts a head start when it comes to interpreting and using the data for their own queries, with sensitive columns masked out according to policies defined elsewhere in the catalogue or the underlying data source. As before, popular queries along with data lineage, describing the flow of data related to the current table, and data health metrics are available from this catalogue page, and we'll cover those elements in other videos in this series. Finally, we can drill down into individual columns such as customer ID to reach our most granular level of detail for a data source. Let's briefly explore other types of catalogue page, for example, our queries. If we drill into the queries published using our Customer ID column and select the first one in the list, that's Accounts by State, we get presented with a catalogue page that documents the usage and description of the query, 
along with the underlying SQL used. Familiar fields are available to the right-hand side that help us navigate and explore related concepts further. Let's head to our navigation bar on the left-hand side to see a few more examples. If we drill into our business intelligence assets and into our Tableau online environment, we see a handy diagram about how catalog pages are structured in relation to curate and manage this information from sites into folders to projects, workbooks, dashboards and specific views. With associated data sources, fields, such as whether an element is considered a dimension or a measure, and lineage to track how elements are used, there's a wealth of detail available. Alation has introduced document hubs as a means to create custom types of documentation, such as the Glossary Hub as a default location for managing business term definitions. With document hubs, you can create your own document types, such as glossary terms, project documentation, business processes and policies, best practices, metric definitions, help documentation, or whatever suits your organisation. Each document hub is featured prominently in the catalogue navigation, and search results can be filtered based on document hubs. In this video, we've covered the basics of how information is organised within Alation through the use of data catalogue pages, from data sources, BI queries, through to organisational knowledge in glossaries and document hubs. Visit alation.com to learn more about Alation, the leading data intelligence platform.